just can't keep living this way So starting today, I'm breaking out of this cage This is my second attempt at trying to record. If there is any complete stop, like all of a sudden I just stopped talking is because nurses or doctors are walking in. I am in a hospital atmosphere. There is background noise, nurses and doctors, so I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible and not try to make it so lengthy. So second time around, let's do this. Hi guys, my name is Melody. I had the gastric sleeve surgery on July 2nd, 2015, and I went through a lighterme.com with Dr. Ortiz in Tijuana, Mexico. And when I tell people I had the surgery in Tijuana, Mexico, they automatically go, oh my God, it's the end of the world. Didn't they sell your body parts? You weren't botched? And I'm like, no. Not all of Tijuana is messed up. Thank you very much. In fact, I was in a nice area in Tijuana. Five star hotel. Um, the hospital was clean and nice and the doctors and nurses there, the staff just made you feel at home and made you feel like family and probably better than most hospitals here in the US. So um, I was very happy with my experience. I had an amazing experience. If you guys wanna check it out, I have pre videos of my experience um, in my video list. So make sure you guys go check that out. So let's get to stats. I was at 245 at my highest weight when I was pregnant with both my kids. Um, after my second child, uh, I had lost about 15, 20 pounds from breastfeeding. And so, um, I stayed at about 220 for about 10 years with nutritionists and, uh, personal trainers. I think about it, I lost about 10 pounds, but I couldn't lose anything after that. And for the last five years, I've been in a high stressful atmosphere, I'd be sitting in a hospital all the time with my son and, um, it's, it was very, 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 very difficult to lose the weight when you're eating out all the time and um, just, you know, when stress gets to you, that's what happens. I could go on with a bunch of excuses, but I won't. Um, so, 220. Uh, the day I started pre-op diet, I was about 218, 220. I kept fluctuating between that uh, those uh, pounds. And then I lost 11 pounds and I was down to 208. Uh, I would say, yeah, because I was thinking more like 219. So between 218 and 20, let's make it even. I was 219 when I started my pre-op diet. I lost 11 pounds. My surgery day was 208. Um, after my surgery, the first week, I was losing just rapidly. I was losing it very, very, very fast. Um, as of today, 10 weeks out, I am down to 178. Woo! I got down to the 170s. I am so super excited. I am so happy. I broke my stall from last week. I've been at 180 for a whole week. And um, I noticed that once I do like at least a one day, just all protein shake and water, um, day it breaks my stall. It's like cleansing out my system a little bit. So um, I was very um, happy that I broke my stall. Um, if you guys ever have a stall, the best thing to do to break that stall is to go straight back to um, full liquids. So that would be soups and um, protein shakes and water and do that for a day. It'll probably break your stall or maybe a couple of days. Sometimes it doesn't work and most of the times it does work. But every single time I go through a stall, I'm like, okay, I need to do this now. Um, I swear by this tea called Smooth Move Tea. This Smooth Move Tea you can get in the organic section at the grocery store. I got it at Safeway. I don't, not everybody has a Safeway in their states or towns and so um, but it's called Smooth Move Tea. I swear by it. Everybody's like, oh, take magnesium citrate and do this and this and this to try to go poop. And I'm going, no, take Smooth Move Tea because within, I took it like at, I would say, uh, I drank some at 9 o'clock in the morning. And by 9 o'clock at night, I was going number two. And 
I, it's just amazing. So I drink that once a week just to get it out of my system because I know when I start getting backed up, I feel sick every time I eat. I can't eat. Um, I feel sick to my stomach and I'm going, okay, I think it's time for me to make a pass. So <laughs> I drink some smooth move tea and within hours I'm going to the bathroom. So it's probably the best stuff and much more tastier than magnesium or um, Miralax or even though you can get taste, I can't do the texture of Miralax. Ugh, I could taste the texture or feel the texture in my mouth when I put it in drinks. I just, I just, I just can't do, just cannot do. So, uh, it's been 10 weeks since surgery. I'm so super excited on this journey. I went into a GNC store to look for tasteless protein powder and I tried it once into a soup and I about gagged. Uh, it, I don't know if it's, but I, I, it's so funny because my taste buds are so um, sensitive that I can still taste the tasteless powder. It changed my baked potato soup taste into a completely different taste and I can taste the difference. And I was like, no, I got this and it was like 45 bucks. Um, I got this so that way I can add more protein to my foods and drinks, but I could still taste powder I just I guess my taste buds are so sensitive and I'm, I'm gonna have to like make smoothies with it or something that way it's, the texture is not so bad I don't know I gotta do a lot more testing I just know that um, my baked potato soup was completely ruined and I couldn't finish it so anyway while I was in the GNC store I was talking to the lady about weight loss surgery and she was so amazed about my positive outlook on life and um, about uh, my situation about having weight loss surgery. I guess up where we live there's a support group and almost every single person that comes to this support group complains or regrets having weight loss surgery and she really 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 was begging me to come to this uh, group to give some positive feedback because I am so happy about this sleeve. Yeah, I miss things. Sometimes I'll take a sip of a, like a cherry Coke, but I can't do much. I just take a sip just to have that taste. And uh, I miss, I do miss some certain foods. I don't miss breads. I obviously can live without them. I'm like, oh, I don't need that. I don't need that bread. And um, I can live without pasta. I'm doing great without pasta. And I don't crave any of these things. Sugar is starting to get worse though. I am starting to crave a little bit of sugar. So um, in order to get over that, you know, I get my protein premieres and I sip on this throughout the day. I am so over protein shakes. It's not even funny. So I may add this to like a coffee flavored, I don't know. Um, but and then I got this to get over it as well. It's called a uh, light and fit protein shake. It's yogurt tasting, so it doesn't taste disgusting. And I can do yogurts. Has 12 grams of protein, 0% fat, um, 5 grams of fiber. It has high potassium, 130 calories, 19 grams of carbohydrates. I gotta watch the carbohydrates. I think that's what makes me stall sometimes. Dietary fibers, 5 grams, like I said, only 11 grams of sugar. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Like I said, instant stops because people are walking in and out. Anyway, like I said, uh, 12 grams of protein and 11 grams of sugar. Amazing. It's not high in sugars and it tastes just like a mixed berry yogurt drink. So um, I'm going to be drinking these. They have different flavors more often. It's a yogurt protein shake, guys. I recommend this, especially. Um, uh, if you are not counting your carbohydrates so much because like I said it has 19 grams but I've only drinking half of this so really I've only drinking uh, you know eight grams of uh, and then I put it back in the fridge of carbohydrates so it really isn't that bad I'm okay with it and no fat OMG you gotta have this hold on talking about it, I need to do that taste. So I'm getting my sweet tooth out of the way by this stuff, getting this stuff that has protein in it. Um, I'm not gagging it down, which is okay. Um, my food intake though, um, my food intake is so confusing to me. My sleeve, uh, do you guys have a name for your sleeve? I know a lot of people name their sleeve. I heard like sleevey mix and all sorts of stuff. 
can't find a name for mine, but I'm thinking of the picky bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I just, I, my sleeve confuses me sometimes. One day I can eat a buttload of stuff and it, it makes me scared sometimes because um, I feel like I'm stretching my stomach, but I'm really not. I'm only eating two to three ounces and I'm feeling so full. But I'm constantly eating those calories, which is really good. That is the number one thing that we should all be doing is eating calories. Calories is what helps burn the fat faster. So if you feel like you're at a stall, not only do you do um, smooth moo tea, go to the bathroom, you uh, go on a full liquid diet for a day, and you gotta eat high calories too. Um, not like super, super high, but you gotta get enough good calories in your system in order for your body to burn it. Otherwise your body feels like it is um, starving itself. So calories is a good thing. What was my point? I completely lost what I was just trying to say. What am I trying to say? My, my sleeve is, like I said, my sleeve is so weird that um, then the, when I eat so much, one day, the next day, I feel as if I can't eat anything. And it's like, I don't know if my stomach swells up or I just eaten so much that I made up for a whole day that I don't need to eat the next day. But I come to find out when I posted the question in other groups that uh, other people are going through the same thing. So I'm not sure what it is. Nobody's given a real answer. I mean, they've got their theories or suggestions what it might be, but um, I just don't know. It does not make any sense. Do you guys have that problem? Do you guys like eat like a bunch in one day and then the next day you can't eat anything at all? You feel nauseous sometimes or whatever. It's just so weird. So I'm gonna call my, um, my uh, sleeve picky bee. Picky B, if you know what I mean. Ah! So, um, anyway, uh, I'm just very, very, very happy to see that the sleeve is truly a success. I am so happy on that, even losing, I think last week I was, yeah, I was about 181, 180, so I lost about two pounds um, since last week. So um, that's okay. I'm still happy at losing two pounds, and um, I'm I'm um, um, I'm very excited about the clothing, the non-scale victory. Yeah, I'm obsessed with the scale, and I see no problem with the scale. I I really don't care what other people think. Not in a nice way that saying the scale is your downfall. It really isn't for me. It keeps me accountable, like I say in every video. And um, I love the scale. I love getting on it three to four times a day. I just, I just, I'm obsessed and I'm okay with that. I do not feel guilty about it and I will continue to keep on doing it. But in any case, I love the non-scale victories more. Um, my clothes are fitting loose. I went and got clothes. I'm in a size 12 now. I went from a 16, 8, 16, 18, size 16, 18 to a size 12. I lost four pant sizes. What? OMG. And I'm able to, I've had this shirt forever and it used to be so tight on me and now it's so loose. I don't know if you guys can see because I have my camera at a certain angle here. There you go. It used to be so tight on me, but now it's so loose. And I am so happy that my clothes are starting to fit and I feel so confident and so comfortable in these clothes. I just feel so amazing. I was in a bathing suit yesterday and not having to tug and pull at things. You guys, I, I'm just so um, happy about this decision. And if you feel like that you need to get weight loss surgery, I recommend the sleeve. And I know that you will not regret it. It is definitely a lifestyle change. You have to learn how to get past that head hunger. You have to learn not to eat sugars and breads and carbs and count all your calories and measure your foods three to four ounces so you're not overeating. And when you do overeat, um, you feel like you want to throw up or it's heartburn or you're frothing, which is like phlegm coming up your throat. My other issue is my boobs are shrinking. I don't like that. I liked my big boobs. So maybe down in, in a year from now, I may get plastics. Who knows? 
um, I am trying. It's really hard when you live um, at the hospital and you travel so much. It's really hard to save any money because all your money goes to hotels and food and gas. and It's, it's really hard to save anything. But I want to start saving up some cash to go back to Tijuana, Mexico at the same hospital to do plastics. I want a mommy makeover where they take in the arms, the stomach. Um, I want just a small Brazilian butt lift. These are my dreams. I, I hope one day that I'd be able to do it. And obviously a breast augmentation. So, and a breast lift. Um, uh, I, there's nothing wrong with it. I, you just, I just want my body to feel good. I just want to feel good. I uh, never ever, I haven't had this, this much confidence in myself ever. This much confidence in myself ever and even when I was skinnier before I thought I was fat when I was skinny before I gained weight And I, I'm just so happy to be back to going back to my high school <laughs> weight, which is so nice um, uh, I've, I've been always down on myself and so critical about myself and I've been there's been times where I've had thoughts of suicide and of course, I never went through it, but there have been times where I've been teased and mocked and made fun of and people said I was disgusting and it's just, it was just never um, always a good thought for me. And I have had people say, oh, you look, you look beautiful no matter how much you weigh. And I'm like, well, thank you, but I don't feel good about myself. I don't feel good at all. And so I'm, I'm super, um, uh, that's why I'm just so excited about this. And there goes the beeping. So I'm gonna say goodbye because his pumps are beeping and I've been talking a lot today. But thank you so much. And I wanna say a shout out to Alan uh, VSG. Alan, you are so impressive and inspiring to me. Just your uh, weight loss is absolutely amazing to see. Marika, oh my gosh, girl, I love watching you. Um, Sleep for Tink. Uh, I watch every single one of your videos <laughs> so and I am watching all of your other videos all of the people that are subscribed to me let me know that you are doing a journey I will come on over and say hi to your journeys as well I love people that are in close in range with me so um, I know there's so much background now so I gotta say goodbye guys I love you guys so so much make sure you uh, subscribe press that little red subscribe button leave a comment and let me know how you're doing and we will see you guys all next week for week 11 I love you guys ciao